Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club with Euroelectric at their awards winning power summit. Now we are speaking not with the utility, but uh, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the Cleantech startup space. Now he came here and I would like to ask him first of all why. Well, we actually have uh, been participating a lot in some of the Euroelectric programs. Euroelectric has a program specifically on 24-7 clean energy. And 24-7 clean energy is a new way of buying clean energy that more and more companies like Google and Microsoft are adopting as a way to drive real impact and accelerate the shift to carbon-free energy. And uh, our company, Granula, is a startup that's providing tools and services uh, to make this change happen faster and for it to go widespread across the whole electricity industry. Oh, so actually you are quite uh, relevant to the topic of the summit, which is game changers, yes? So in bullet points, so which are the, the game changers? Uh, well, I think that um, we are in this really important time for the electricity industry because Electricity will solve over 75% of carbon emissions. If you think about the strategy of decarbonizing the power sector and then electrification of everything, it is now the clearest strategy for how to remove carbon emissions from most parts of our lives. The challenge is whether that shift happens in 20 years or in 40 years. Because if it happens in 40 years, it's too late. It will make a, it has a big impact on the habitability of this planet to make it happen sooner. So how can we make it happen sooner? We can't just wait for government regulations. We have to harness the demand from consumers. There is huge demand from businesses, from organizations and individuals to uh, go on a journey to net zero and to reduce their carbon emissions. And one of the most important ways that consumers can reduce their carbon emissions is to buy clean electricity mm -hmm. over fossil fuel electricity. But right now the system that uh, people use to choose one type of electricity mm -hmm. over another called Rex or Guarantees of Origin, mm -hmm. uh, it's been around for 20 years and uh, it's grown, been very successful, but it's now become a little bit out of date mm -hmm. because it relies on annual matching. So consumers can become 100% green mm -hmm. by matching their consumption in a year with uh, production in the same 12-month window. So you can basically claim solar energy from last summer against your consumption in the mm -hmm. middle of the nighttime in winter, which doesn't reflect the reality. So we need a system of hourly energy certificates or granular certificates, which allow consumers to say, my energy is coming from this source uh, in this particular one hour or half hour period and then uh, that way they can start to drive real uh, change and impact and companies like Google and Microsoft have already made commitments to be 24-7 clean energy. Do you think the customers uh, you know they are aware about this and they actually care? Yeah. I think that they they don't need to know and they don't care about the details but they do care about greenwashing oh. and greenwashing is becoming uh, much more of an issue. People, everybody buys electricity. Uh, and I think if you ask most people, would you prefer to buy clean electricity or fossil fuel? They will say clean electricity. No, they will say first, how much does it cost? Huh? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but we know that some people are willing to, to spend money. There were $12 billion spent on green energy certificates last year wow. in 2021. And it's said to be $100 billion uh, by 2030, so oh, it's there's, there's a significant amount of like interest in 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 being green. And actually, the good news is that uh, green energy is becoming cheaper, yes, than fossil. Right? Absolutely, it's uh, it's becoming one of the cheapest forms of energy anywhere. And what this uh, new certificate system does is it values renewable energy based on its real world availability. So we discuss about your past, yes. So you are quite active in the clean technologies and uh, you already were a successful guy who already succeeded to bring investors yes to your startups uh, yeah the well, granular is actually my third startup in the energy sector I started my career in physics I did a PhD in solar 
I went to work for General Electric in Germany. Then I did a first startup uh, in solar in the UK, financing solar rooftop projects that was acquired by Hanergy uh, in 2013. Then I did another startup called Vcharge, which was a demand response company that got acquired by Ovo Energy, which is a retailer, uh, energy retailer in the UK. And Granula is now addressing this problem of both how do we get the grid to run completely on carbon-free energy and how do you choose one type of electricity over another in a meaningful way that drives impact. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we, we're a very young company. We've been going for less than one year. Um, we are eight people in total fully remote team so we don't have uh, one central office because we were created in lockdown we don't need a we've only ever been in in a remote environment so we have our team is spread across four different wow. countries and uh, yeah we're in London in Paris in uh, Zurich someone in Amsterdam and We've just closed our first funding round uh, from three investment funds, uh, one in London, one in Berlin, and one in San Francisco. And uh, we're now kind of growing the team further. And we're launching a first pilot project in the UK where we have 12 of the largest utilities and big corporates like British Telecom and Sky participating. And uh, we now plan to take the model that we have in the UK for this hourly energy certificate market uh, and to bring it to three other countries in Europe and also in the US. Uh, we discussed also together that uh, in the club uh, we are now launching Cleantech Startup Hub, yes, which will unite startup hubs and underworld accelerators. And also we are working on the business model. So I would like to ask you, you know, from the perspective of the successful uh, guy uh, in the startup space in Cleantech, what would be your advice? What is the most needed? Large energy companies have uh, already a very busy program of work. They are uh, under a lot of pressure from regulation. So it's quite often, and they're very large organizations, so it's very hard to navigate and to find connections to the right people or to senior people who can then uh, decision, help you yeah. take a decision and also point you to the right people in the organization yeah. as well. So let's say so like shortening the this track yes absolutely absolutely and also we need we need people who can kind of see the long-term vision and who are empowered to uh, kind of make strategic decisions for their organizations uh, because what we're doing is a completely different way of buying green energy mm -hmm. which is coming it's going to happen over the next five years and so we're looking for people who actually want to be early adopters of this new system yeah, because also we had some discussions today that uh, people say about transition but uh, in the club we believe it's not transition it's transformation yeah <laughs> absolutely it it's all about how quickly it can happen uh, yeah. and we need to accelerate so uh, last but not least did you like the event yeah I think it's been a great event it's an amazing venue um, it's really nice because it's not too big. It's a very senior group of electricity industry professionals. And uh, yeah, for us, it's, uh, it's our community. Okay. And together we are stronger. Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. That was uh, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the cleantech startup space. And I hope uh, we'll meet around the world. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks.